All right, welcome back to part two. In this part, we're gonna address the export of the weights and biases out of TFLearn or TensorFlow. To be able to export any weights or biases, we first have to initialize the network in TFLearn and then export these weights and biases out of TFLearn to recreate the same network in CAFE and then be able to compare both outputs of the two frameworks. So let's not waste any time. Let's get right to it. Okay, the VGGNet is fully defined now in TFLearn. What we have to do now is create an initialized model of the VGGNet so we can compare it in CAFE and TensorFlow. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to create a new, a new file. I'm going to call it save model. And let's read just a few lines of code. Um, first, we want to import the model we've just created. I've called it vggnet19 and then I'm gonna create the model by just calling the model function. Um, the input parameters are the width and height. I'm gonna use an um, image of 112 by 112. The original size of the images was 224 times 224 but if I use these values my graphics card runs out of memory so I'm gonna use a smaller image. And okay, moving on. Um, there's a function in in TFLearn that's just called save, and it just saves an initialized or trained network. So if I call the network here, it will just initialize a new network with um, random random weights, and I'm just gonna save it. Okay, I'm just gonna have to give it a name and a path if you want to, but I'm just gonna save it here. I'm gonna call vggnet dot model. Okay, that's the code that is necessary to save the model. I'm just gonna open my command line. I'm using Anaconda. It's a really convenient tool that um, has a lot of libraries that are useful for machine learning. For example, NumPy. Um, it also makes installing new um, new packages easier, and it also lets you create different environments, um, so you can use different Python versions. For example, um, I'm just going to um, link in the description. If you use it, make sure to use the Anaconda uh, prompt and not the general command line. Otherwise, the following command will not work. I'm just going to activate an environment here. This environment will not exist on your computer. You will have to set up your own. It's just the name I gave it. It's not a general command. Um, all right, now I'm gonna just I'm just gonna switch to the path where the project is located, and then I can start saving the model. Oops. Takes a moment. VGNet is quite big. It has like 500 megabytes, I believe. All right, seems like it worked. Um, I'm just gonna check in the folder real quick. And we can see here, here's the model data. Um, TFLearn always saves three files. Um, the .data, .index, and .meta file. In these files, the parameters of the initialized networks are saved. We have to load the network into TFLearn now again to save these parameters in a NumPy file. Um, if you're not aware what NumPy is, NumPy is a Python library that's really well suited for anything you want to do with arrays and matrices and it allows you to load an array or create an array and then save it as a file. And we're going to use this file to insert the parameters into the um, network in CAFE. Alright, to convert these um, model files that you've learned created into a NumPy file, I'm gonna create a new file. Um, I'm gonna call it export parameters. And the first thing I'm wa I want to do is um, import tflearn and import numpy. And since I want to load the tflearn model, I'll need the name of the model. So I'm just gonna press F2 and copy, ignore the rest of the file name, and then I'll define that as the um, model name. And I shouldn't forget to import the model. 
from models import vgnet19 to import model. Um, now I can define the model. And again, the width and height are the width and height of the input image. Um, these parameters define the um, width and height of the input layer of the network. And then I can load the model with the um, model name we have defined previously. What this means is that the um, that tplan will initialize this architecture and then load the weights from this specific model. This means um, this line. Okay, next up is the layer array. Um, in this layer array I will specify which layers I want to export. And since I want to export all the layers, all the weights and um, biases of the layers, I will write down all the layers. Um, and the names of the layers are defined by um, deep learn like this. Um, convolution layers are called conf2d and um, if you have more than one they um, have this raising integer and um, if you gave them names in the model definition here I believe this will be the names here. Okay I'll type out the missing convolution layers real quick. Okay, and since I've started with zero, in a sense, as um, the starting value, um, and VGNet has only 16 convolution layers in the VGNet 19 version, I will only go to 15 here. And then I'll get the full connected layers. They are called like this. If you want to find out how they are called, you can look at the tensor board in the graph editor and there the names are presented. Okay, now I can define the function. I call it get tf weights or get tf learn weights or tensorflow weights. And the input parameters are the model and the layer array. Okay, first up I define a dart file. This is just um, a placeholder where I will find uh, where I will save the weights and biases before saving them as a numpy file. And now I will iterate over all the layers in the layer array and then extract the weights and biases in every single layer. And to do that, first up, I have to get the variables that are contained in the layer. And this works like this in tflearn. Get layer variables by name. And then you give the layer name that we have defined here. Okay, and the weights of the layer are the, um, you can get them like this, model.getWeights, and then the variables we've just got, and they are at position zero, and if you want to get the biases, um, don't get confused, it's still called get weights, but they are at position one. And how I do it now is um, I define a layer pair. This is um, the weights and biases as an array. Weights and biases. Oops, I forgot this here. And then I append this layer pair at the data file. Okay, now I get all the parameters in a certain layer that I get by a layer name that's defined here in this layer array. Then I extract the weights and biases out of this layer and put them into a layer pair, an array that just contains these two 
and to pend them at the dot file. All that's left to do is save the dot file we've created as a numpy array. Um, first gives the name of the file. I'm gonna call it bgn 19 and following um, this with the size of the input image and then give the file you want to save. In this case it's the dot file and then just tell the script to run it. Get tf weights with model and the layer array. Alright, and then you can just run the function in the anaconda prompt. And I've made a mistake. Um, I wrote the name wrong here. Okay, let's try again. And there you have it. Let's check in the folder real quick. Um, as you can see, here is the numpy array. It's quite big. In the next episode, we will take this numpy array, put it into the virtual machine, and then import it to Cafe. We will have to make some changes to it, otherwise it won't work. Um, we will compare the networks in TFLearn and Cafe to each other and see if they give the same output. And if they do, the conversion was successful. So, see you there. Hope you're ready for the next episode.